Generic greetings and welcome to Preview Plus Banished. This is a city building management game where you... You know what? You know what? I'm just going to drop all pretense of ignorance on this one. The chances are you know everything that I'm about to say. The chances are you've seen tens if not hundreds of hours of this game already, if not played them yourself. As of the time of recording, this is probably the most played game on YouTube right now, aside from perhaps Minecraft, Gary's Mod, Daisy, and Rust. But it's a phenomenon in terms of you know how many people have played this and are featuring it. Almost every outlet I can imagine and have seen is actually featuring this game in some way, and for good reason. It's a it's a good game. If you're just looking for recommendations, you have it right. It's a good game. Close this video. Go and buy it. You'll probably play it and enjoy it more than watching this. All right. If you are one of the very, very few people that has no clue what this game is, then sort of stick around. This is probably the most requested game I've ever had, so let's jump in, shall we? As I said, it's a city building and management game. Basically, you have a couple of people that have just turned up from another place and you have to make a village. Okay, so... Let's have a town name here. You can just randomise it. Uh, we're just going to call it. Hang on. We could randomise it. We're just going to name it. I'm going to call it uh, generic uh, location. Generic location. You can change the map seed. So I'm just going to go with that one there. So if you are, if you want to sort of see what I'm, see basically copy what I'm playing. There you go. There's the map seed. There you can pause it and check it out. We can change the terrain type and the character, the terrain size and the climate. I'm just going to keep it on as standard. And there we go. As I said, you probably already know everything about this because uh, pretty much everybody seems to. I mean, every video I have done in the last couple of weeks, again, as of time of recording, has had requests to feature this game. So I'm going to pause it for a moment. We're going to quickly look through the UIs as well as explain a couple of things. So uh, you can see that this is our landscape. You can zoom right out. There we go. You see we've got trees and we've got rocks and we've got whatever these are. These are actually iron. There we go, there's rocks, there's iron, etc. Um, we see we've got mountains. It's actually a fairly mountainous map, this. It's fairly mountainous. Um, in fact, it's probably going to cause me a couple of problems. Oh no, this is fairly clear over here. And we have one massive river going right down the centre, which is good. We have a stockpile here. We can see there's uh, some stuff in it. When you click on it, you'll get some UI options. So we can see we've got firewood, iron, logs, and stone. we got, you know, all of them there. It shows you how full it is. We also have a storage barn, which basically stores things other than them materials. So you can see potatoes, uh, they're basically your food. Uh, iron tools and hide coats to keep people warm and then here are all of our little villages there you go so we can click on each one we get little pictures of them and uh, little busy options and things that we can do we can see their inventory we can see the details of them so we got the name here we got their age their health their gender their ha happiness what their job is if they're educated or not everybody starts educated at the start apart from the child the child the children rather um, <laughs> strange that I made that grammatical mistake when I was talking about children and education. Uh, we've also got what tool they're carrying, what clothing they're wearing, etc. And basically what they're doing as well. So you can see they're finding a tool. So all of these are heading towards this barn here, this storage barn, to probably pick up some hide coats and tools. So, we need to basically order them around to uh, basically say, you know, go here, do that, make this, and just generally survive. Before we do that, we'll check uh, we'll check out the UI on the bottom right. These are all of our options, and we'll use these while playing the game. First one is to speed up time. Second one is tools and reports, which we will open now. We're going to open up a couple of reports. These are the three that I generally have open all the time. I use the event log, so it'll tell us things like when there's fires or when there's birth, death, murder, etc. Actually, I've never encountered murder. I don't know if you actually get that. Also shows us our basic see our town overview so it shows us the time uh, so it's early spring of year one shows that we've got 10 people no uh, students and no children the good thing is that when you mouse over it does give you a little bit of text and it's very easy to understand in that regard I'll shows you the average health of the citizens as well as the average happiness and such and other things like how much ale we have and coats etc on the bottom here, what I've opened up, like I say, you can drag these, you can drag all of these around. This is just my preferred way of putting them. We have our professions. You have to assign different professions, so you can assign people to builder, to uh, be a brewer, etc., etc. Now I've probably played maybe four hours of this game, so I haven't actually got to everything in here. So this will definitely be a first impressions. Um, the next tab is homes and housing, so we can build houses for our people, which we do need to do. As you can see, they have little yellow symbols above their heads. All of that means that they don't have a house, because obviously you can see it's a little house symbol. They don't have a house, so I need to build some houses. This one is roads and bridges. It's pretty much what it says on the tin. This one's storage, uh, markets and trade. You can basically make 
uh, barns and stockpiles in there as well, but as well as other things like a trading post, which we will be doing, or at least hopefully. We've got town services, things like a well, a uh, schoolhouse, so you can you know, educate, you know, educate the children and such, and having town halls and all that sort of thing. Moving along, we have food production, so we can have uh, crops and orchards and pasture, pastures and such, also fishing docks. Oh, you get food. Uh, then we have resource production, which is a bit of a um, it's a bit of a strange name because it's you know it's well it, it's resource production. I guess I guess it's right. It's basically anything that isn't classed as food practically because you got wood cutting uh, to actually chop down wood. Wood cutting isn't chopping these down. That's a forester. A woodcutter is someone that takes these big logs and chops them into firewood. We've got a forester which sort of takes care of the forest and actually, you know, instead of just ripping all these trees down, he actually takes care of it. Then we've got a herbalist who will get little herbs for medicine and such. Blacksmith, you know, tailor, all of that sort of thing. And then we have uh, removal and destruction tools. So we can say remove structures, uh, remove resources, then harvest trees, you know, collect stone, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to harvest trees and I'm going to cut out all of that there. Make a fairly large area for us, about there maybe. That will cut out all them ones at the top there as well. Then we're also going to do the same with stone. We're going to cut all of them out. We don't want any stone around here. And we're probably going to rip all, all the trees about there as well. So all of the, all of them have been set. And if we unpause it, uh, let me just do uh, iron as well, see if there's any iron about. You can see that when I click and drag, it goes uh, green and then actually goes red for the things that are actually going to be affected by it, which is normally against convention, normally to the way around. But anyway, there we go. And I will unpause it. So, you can see they're all going to do different things, and now it's started to rain. Oh, we better get some houses up first, so actually I'll pause it once more. I'll go to homes, and I can either build a wooden house, or I can build a stone house. The resources required for it are shown at the bottom of there. So wooden houses require 16 wood and 8 stone. These will require 24 wood, 40 stone, and 10 iron. So I'm just going to use wooden houses for now, and I'm going to put them probably along here. Now we can move them around as you can see and we can rotate them by pressing R and uh, we can also rotate the camera by pressing Q and E. Uh, obviously we can zoom in and out by using mouse wheel and all of the typical uh, moving camera conventions. There is a tutorial in this and it is actually, um, it's quite basic but it teaches you enough to get playing which is quite good. Anyway, so we'll put this somewhere, you can see there's arrows, that's basically the front of the house and where people are going to get in. I want to have a bit of a gap here so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to put these houses all the way along. I'm going to have them in twos. so we have a gap of one between them. Actually, I'm going to cancel that because, by the look of that, um, we can't fit one in any further. So, I'm uh, actually, you can see it stops there because of the slope of this sort of hill thing. So, I'm just going to uh, move them like so. As you can see, if I try to build over somewhere, it won't let me. You can see it actually has a symbol going red where it says wooden house and then goes green. You can see it goes red to green. There we go. Anyway, and again, it tells you why. Wooden house, wooden house cannot be placed in this location. Good. So, we're going to place it there. And then the final one is there. There we go. So that's four houses. Technically, we need five, I believe, but uh, that'll do for now. I'm going to go to builders here and actually set builders to probably six and then unpause it. And then what we'll do is we'll speed up time to, say, ten times. And as you can see, they're going to go around. What the labourers are, labourers are pretty much people that haven't got a particular task to do. So they will, um, when you mouse over, it tells you what to do, which is, again, good. Um, they'll wander around, they'll clear forests, move, produce goods, storage, etc. They won't build, but, you know, they will move the resources, perhaps to there and you know, to the stockpile etc. There we go, we got some houses so some of these people now, like that uh, child there, doesn't have the symbol above the head so they've now got a house. In fact if you click on said house you can see who's there. So we've got a labourer and a builder there and then we go here you can see we've got the same sort of thing. We've got actually two childs and uh, labourer and uh, two builders. There you go. That's the family that's staying in that house which is quite good. As you can see, they're running around, knocking all this stuff down. What I'm going to do then, uh, because we have to be very well aware of our resources, because there is a finite amount at the start, we need to start thinking about gathering some resources. So I'm going to go to fishing dock, I'm going to place a fishing dock probably back here. Uh, probably, um, I think there would do as nicely. Fishing dock there, and then we'll unpause it. I'm actually going to go to tools and report, and actually go to increase priority, and increase the priority of that. I want that built first. So they're not going to bother with these houses first, they're going to do that. There we go. The reason I'm doing that is because I want this dock at first so we can start getting some fish and get some food. Um, storage for logs, stone and iron is nearly at capacity, which it pretty much has, it is at capacity now. There we go, we'll pause it. As you can see, that's got a question mark on it. That means that nobody's currently working there because nobody's assigned to fish. So I can go over here, fishermen, I'm going to assign three fishermen to that, then we'll unpause it, the fishermen will go over here. If I click on this, you can see how many I can assign, so I can actually have three or four, or I can say, no, I only want three definitely working there. So say, if I say, say if I had two fishing, two, two of these, 
uh, I can say I want two on one, two on the other, and then they, they'll automatically split up and chain and go around. We can say, well, food limit, so they won't. Basically, they won't fish if we reach that limit. Obviously, we've only got at the moment uh, 100 and tw uh, 1,273 units of food, so that's. Um, you know, it's okay, but it's not going to see us through the winter. We can also see this uh, here, which this shows us what we've fished in this, well, what we've got in the current season uh, and the previous season. So at the moment, well, pre there, isn't, there isn't a previous season. We're on day, sort of day one and all that, um, or year one. So anyway, we'll unpause it. As you can see, they're running around doing all their things, and now they're probably going to do that there. They're actually, now they look like they're knocking down the house. They look like they're knocking down the stuff as well. Uh, what's this one? That is, yeah, the, basically that's at capacity, so they can't move that sort. They can't move that stuff. And we've got to harvest trees and rip them up there. Um, what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to go to probably. Actually, I'm going to get some more houses up. And um, what we'll do is I'll rotate them so they're on the sort of back of each other there. In fact, what I'll do is I will press F, and you can change the uh, the houses so you can sort of copy what the other ones are. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to... I'll just let it automatically assign. You can see they do change, which is quite good. There we go. There's them houses. Putting them close might be a bad idea because I believe you can get fires. Not that I've experienced it myself, but um, that's something that apparently you can get. Like I say, I've probably played about four hours of this game so far. Oh, well, there we go. There's some uh, nice deer coming along there. Actually, they're not that skittish because normally deer run them well away. Anyway, so we need a couple more things. I'm going to... Probably get uh, probably a couple of crop fields, but uh, before that, we're going to get a herbalist because herbalists are good. They will uh, basically scout around and look for herbs and such, and I think we'll put them probably put a herbalist there. They'll be able to heal like heal ailments and stuff. And I think we will also put down probably a forager, which is someone that gathers food like mushrooms or onions and you know things like that wild wild berries and fruits and such which is very good again at, right at the start so uh, I think we'll put one you can see we've got like a, a, a circle going all the way around that's like sort of their area of um, patrol if you want to call it that and uh, I need to make sure that I put it in the right place because I do plan on knocking a couple more trees down so perhaps um, perhaps about there I think we'll do actually we'll separate a little bit there we go now the thing is that uh, certain certain herbs and such and like uh, things like that and onions and the wild things that you find they generally only occur in the they only occur in forests that are old so if you just planted a couple if you just planted a forest over here which you can sort of do with a forester there's generally not going to be many of them wild foods and to forage and things like that or herbs so you definitely want to uh, you know basically pick an area of uh, forest and go that is the place where we're going to be fine and we're not going to we're not going to mess around with it anyway let us get some other things up we need to get probably a i don't know what should we get up uh, we need to think about tools and such so let me get probably a blacksmith i think we'll get a blacksmith up um, and we'll put a blacksmith probably right near here because it makes sense we'll put a little bit of a gap there we go and pause it and we'll also get a we've all got a herbless we don't need a forest lodger what we need actually is a woodcutter we haven't got a woodcutter yet so i will get a woodcutter that i can find not that i can find it you, you know hang on is that a woodcutter uh, that is a woodcutter there i so say these make um wood for well firewood basically and we're going to put it um i'm tempted to put it there but i like the idea of putting my trading post there so what i might do is move it probably to about um, about there I think there we go and we'll unpause it um, as you can see we still got three laborers we got six builders they're gonna go around and build on thing and the laborers are gonna pick stuff and move it like if I click on that guy there you can see that he is actually a laborer and he's currently working looks like he's moving stuff around and they're placing stuff around this because obviously it's too full but uh, that's not a problem now I know uh, you can make more stockpiles but I find that you just don't need to early on um, you could make it bigger and I wish there was some way of um, like you sort of increasing it but um, you just have to build them next to one another and although I could do that there's no real point because once I've built most of my stuff that'll never be full again at least in my experience um, so a child named here we go if we just look on this this is uh, shouting at me and obviously you can see it's in red saying it's bad stuff's happening what it means is that the storage for logstone 9 is near capacity well it is actually at capacity if we click on it look you can see it's 98 percent that'll be going from 100 to 98 or whatever all the way along and um, we've been we have a child named uh, Mancha or Menancha something like that has been born 
Fantastic. So we now have ch another child born. So we have 13 adults, no students, and 7 children. Oh, lovely. Right, let me... Uh, I was going to say I'll, I'll make some more builders, but uh, let's not bother. See, why are they not building these? They should be building them. Oh, there we go. They're putting this stuff on. When you place buildings, you actually get these... Um, it shows you what you need to finish them, so we need we need to remove something here, so one tree. And we need 16 logs, we need 8 stone, and we need to spend basically 30 building points. Or something like, that's the amount of work that needs to be done, like that guy's increasing the points. As you can see, the building gets popped up, and changes, and then... Come on, blink, there we go, and it's done. So there's all but one, all but a couple of people have a house. So we need to prioritize the house first, because otherwise they will start to die of uh, cold. Although they will go, into, they, they can go into neighbors' houses and get warm and such. Uh, that person is shouting about food, which is a problem, so I'm going to get another fisherman. Um, I actually haven't got any crops up. Uh, normally I would go for crops really fast, but with me obviously explaining the game, it's quite hard to do. You can see on the bottom right, we've got these like red pop-ups. It shows you, it's similar to what this event log is. If you have the event log, you don't really need to worry about that, but it is a good, um, it is a good indicator to say, yes, something is definitely wrong. You need to take a, you know, to keep an eye on it. Now, you can see it's now late autumn and it's snowing. It's very cold. In fact, you can see that the temperature is 16. So it's very, very cold. Now, the problem with that is that you need to burn firewood, and as you can see on the left here, we have stored logs, but we also have, where is it, I believe it is, uh, where that's coal, that's firewood, you can see we've got no firewood left, we've used it all, you do get a certain stack when you start your little, um, your little sort of village, hamlet, outpost, whatever you would like to call it, um, you do get that, you get a little bit, but not, a mu not much, ah, there we go, there's a blacksmith, so we need to probably assign someone to be a blacksmith because they'll make tools uh, and as you can see uh, we have iron tools 26 this guy is only going to make 50 so the tool limits 50 I don't think we need any more than that we can also just see make, we can tell them to make steel tools which are you know better but you do need iron and coal and I don't have any coal so anyway uh, how is our food doing our food is low sadly um, and they are freezing because we've got no firewood so we need to prioritize that building there, hang on, prioritise that, we need to get more firewood, because uh, all the houses are up, in fact we shouldn't really need to prioritise anything, we just need to get that, so why can't we get, why can't that, why isn't that built? I'm not too sure why that is not built, because, that, that needs to be removed, that bit of stone needs to be removed, so are they just going to not, are they just going to sit around and not do it? Um, that can't be right, that cannot be right, anyway, what I'm going to do, um, for the time being, I'm going to go and probably... Well, it's late winter now, so it should it should be warming up. Uh, now, people can die from the cold um, in the game and in real life, sadly. So, something we have to uh, take note of. So, what I'm going to do is... I need to sort that out. I need to get that woodcutter up. I'm hoping that we can get through the winter unscathed, but we'll see. What I'm going to do... And we're going to build a trading post. Now, what that means is we can actually trade with different people when they come along. I think I'll put it... Uh, I'd like to put it down there, but it's sticking out a little bit. It's a little bit annoying where it is, so I'm going to put it there, and we can sort of bring it back in, like... Um, like so, maybe? There's a nice place to put it. There we go. Right, and what that'll do is allow us to trade with the traders that come down on boats. Now, the thing is... You can only do certain things. You only have certain things. So I don't have any livestock. Uh, do I? No, I don't have any livestock. I don't have any cattle. I don't have any. I don't have any chickens or anything like that. I also only have certain seeds. Now, speaking of seeds, let's get a couple of. Uh, crops up so I think we'll start growing the crops back here because it's fairly flat although this is probably a better idea but I like this I, I like this for housing so this is where we're going to start growing stuff now I think we'll start putting our crop field here we'll make it um, probably uh, we'll cancel that cancel that cancel that we'll make it I think 15 by 10 I'll make it 15 by 8. I think 15 by 8 is a better one. So we'll make it 15 by 8. There we go. There's two crop fields. Then I'm going to get an orchard. Now, orchards differ from them because they are... Um, you can... For a start, I believe you can have them slightly bigger. But they also take longer to produce anything. Now, let me just unpause it and we'll go get on with that. Now, this one's actually being built. So I can click on it. You can see we've got this symbol here. It basically doesn't know what we want to do. So I'm going to tell it what I want to... What I want 
it to grow. So I, I'm going to basically select either potatoes or cabbage. Now, when you trade, you can trade different seeds. So at the moment, I only have the seeds for potatoes and cabbage. So I'm going to do one potato, and that's actually a good start, actually. And we're going to do potatoes. We also see we've got a question mark there because nobody's assigned to it. So I just need to hire a couple of farmers. I'll hire three farmers. We'll reduce our builders because we don't really need that many. There we go. Now, if everything's full up, um, if everything's full up, and say, for example, there's nothing to do, uh, say this guy here, he's got nothing to do, he will do some labouring tasks in my experience. Um, now, hang on one moment. I need to uh, get this woodcutter. I need to change it so that woodcutter... Is that, well, we actually have one. There we go. So there's now going to be someone doing the wood. Yeah, there you go. Look, they're actually going around and sorting the crops out. Looks like they're doing some hoeing and they're doing some planting. You can see there's small little things growing there now. You can probably see it. Tiny little green bits because they're running around planting seeds and such. In fact, uh, yeah, it just is working. It just is working. So anyway, once this is made, we can then go about that. Uh, these guys are really cold for some reason, even though it's not cold. Um... The reserve of firewood is low. Yes, I'm aware of that. I am aware of that. Also, our food is low. We need to get that built, but they're not doing it. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to uh, probably go and make another stockpile. And make another stockpile probably uh, there. There we go. And now they should be able to move some stuff over to there and then get on with these. So that should be moved, but they're not doing it. So what I'll do is I'll just manually tell them to do that. So delete all the rocks there. Uh, that's actually... Is that iron? Yeah, it's actually iron. Fair enough. Get rid of the iron so you can build that. I'm guessing the worker... Oh, we've got, we've got four builders. As you can see, they're, they're actually trying to build the trading post first. So we're on late spring, so we should... If I, I should be able to get enough crops if I just prioritise them. Prioritise them. Get them done first. I want the builders to do that because it's only a five-second job just to remove that stone and go, yep, it's done. Um, oh, there we go. Look at our crops. They're growing. Titties. We have titties. Uh, oh, and there's a little sapling of a tree. Oh, lovely. Uh, actually, did I build some stuff over here? I did. I've got a herbalist and a gatherer's hut. So I'm going to actually get a herbalist. Hang on. There we go. And I'm going to get a gatherer. There we go. So now those people are going to go over there and work there. And they will uh, bring some food in for us. Come on. Chop that bit down, please. I want to get rid of that one there so I can build this. That would be fantastic. Apparently they're not. Uh, as you can see, we've got more pop-ups down the bottom here, so we've got people, uh, ch uh, children becoming adults and such. Now, the problem I have is that these children, some of them will not be educated because I don't have a school. Now, if I just click on different people, you can see the educated says yes, this person educated yes, that person educated no, but still a child, but they can go to adulthood and be uneducated. And the problem with that is you can't then educate them. You can't, there's no, like, you know, uh, you know, open learning later on, as far as I'm aware. Uh, you have to educate them when they are young, and then they'll be classed as educated in the game. And what that does is give them more efficiency. They're, they're more efficient at doing, well, basically doing their task and such. So if they were, for example, a forester, they'll be able to make more logs, chop more trees down, etc. That's what they'll do. Anyway, people are shouting about food. Let me have a quick look. How much food are we getting from this? We're getting a fair amount of fish, but uh, not a great deal. There we go. These are complete now, so we're going to plant some cabbages in that one. And this is an orchard, and we're going to plant some chestnuts in the orchard. There we go. So, people are going to go there. We have three farmers, so they're going to go and tend to that. The more you assign, uh, then the generally the faster stuff will grow and the more efficient it'll be. As you can see, we've got a yield here. We're in late summer now, so the problem is if I don't start harvesting, the frost will probably start killing off these crops, but I have to wait as long as I can, really, to uh, to uh, do it. I'm actually going to get more farmers here. Now, the orchards, they differ from these because even though we're planting them, they won't produce anything for a couple of years. Oh, no. Oh, no. Died of starvation. Oh, the farmers died of starvation and the woodcutters died of starvation because we don't have enough food. I'm going to have to just... Yeah, I'm going to have to harvest that. Harvest, please. Harvest, please. Um, actually, they are actually harvesting it by the look of it. Yes, you can see they're harvesting it down the bottom. They'll pick all the stuff up and then they'll take it to here. Which is okay. Um, you can see there's also onions and stuff going there. Um, that ga that symbol there means that they've reached their limit. So that that's reached that that's reached its limit for the tools. So there should be 50 odd tools. Yeah, there's 54 tools, so they won't be working. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to micromanage this a bit. And this is where it starts to fall down a little bit. I'm going to micromanage the blacksmith. And say uh, you're no longer a blacksmith, you are a woodcutter. There we go. So now he's going to work at the woodcutter's place. That's probably my main criticism with this. 
and if that's you know that's a good thing because that's my main criticism of the game so far that you do have to micromanage these professions if you want to get the best out of it and loads of people are dying from starvation so I'm, to be honest I'm not really gonna have much of a uh, town to <laughs> I'm not really gonna have much of a town left at this rate um, they're actually planting these. Oh no, they're not planting them. They're just tending to these. Now, now, what I want, can I, is this a forager? This is a gatherer's hut. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of the farmers off there, and then I'm going to put them, in fact, I'll take three farmers off, and I'll make them all gatherers. Gatherer is my, probably my favourite uh, building for some reason, the gatherer's hut, because it produces loads, as you can see, look, roots, berries, onions, mushrooms, they produce a fair amount for the, for the people you've got there, so it's quite good. Uh, we could also, look at that, yeah, look, little D's and such. These little bugs, are, as you can see, where they just glitch on top of things, but it's minor for the most case, and it's certainly not, it's certainly not game-breaking. It's not even really game-distracting, to be honest with you. Um, as you can see, we've got a couple of problems with food here, although we have harvested some things. We've got herbs going in, we've got mushrooms, food's going up. Um, hopefully we can survive this because we have got a lot of firewood. Look, we've got 200 and odd firewood, so we should be able to survive this. Uh, we have two farmers, but I might as well stop them. Actually, no, I'll keep one on. Because you don't really need farmers in the winter because they're not going to tend to these crop fields or do anything. Um, I'm not too sure about the orchard. I think it's the same thing, but, uh, you know, we will... We will endure. So what I'm going to do is put them on builder. There we go. Actually, I'll probably leave one as labourer. And as you can see, these have got question marks on them. Um, I want them to have one of three. There we go. So that's changed now. There we go. So they're now assigning to that. So we've got one person looking after this. If we actually click on there and see where they are, and that person there, that person is the farmer. Right? So we'll just mark, we'll just sit on her. Hang on. Oh, damn it. I've lost her. There she is. She's wandering around. What's she doing? She's picking up resources. I think she's just been a laborer, really. Yes, she's just doing laboring tasks because it's because it's not um, there's nothing for her to do. She's just doing laboring tasks. Oh, child is born. There we go. And we've also got another person now working as a laborer. So I think what we should do is start thinking about schooling. Um, let's have a quick look. Ideally, you would want this straight off, but um, sadly, it's not something you can do. You need uh, you need to prioritise survival over anything else practically. So let me just find the school if I can actually locate the thing. There we go, a schoolhouse. So I'm going to put a schoolhouse at the end of the road here because this is obviously where we've got a couple of houses. Uh, we have 13 people uh, and we have eight, or 13 adults and 8 children. Ah, wait, so now it's late winter. As you can see, the frost's dying off. So I'm going to change it so we have uh, less, probably one, two less fishermen and gatherers and then put them all on farmers. So we have five farmers. There we go. And obviously, oh, it's actually... <laughs> snowing just a little bit in late winter. Eventually though they are going to start doing the crops, at least they should be. Uh, early spring, We've got a bit of spring frost here, nice that. I mean it is nice when it changes all of the colours and such, obviously for the different weather and such, that is quite nice. I mean the graphics in general are not fantastic, but there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, you know, when you, you know you can zoom, zoom in and say like, you know, oh that doesn't look fantastic, but you know what? You know what? It's not about that and it's good enough, it's, it's more than good enough to uh, you know, do it. You know, for it to do what you need it to do. As you can see, they're tending to the crops there. I'm going to take a couple of farmers off and um, probably put someone on. Mm, we need a blacksmith, don't we? Now, let's have a blacksmith. We'll hire a blacksmith. There we go. We've got three labourers, so I think we will. Have we got our trading post up yet? We haven't got our trading post up, but it is getting built. And I think we will get probably. a couple more gatherers, or a, a other gatherer. Oh, what's that? That's our herbalist. The herbalist died, didn't they? So we'll, we'll have another herbalist. There we go. So we're not doing too bad. A bit of a rocky, shaky start here, but uh, not too bad. That says we're actually over. That says we're actually got enough of our tools, but uh, any second now we're going to start we need to, we're going to need to make them, but uh, yeah, we'll see. That's our schoolhouse. I'm just waiting for it to be complete. As you can see, 41% complete. That one is 54. I don't know what really dictates why it's, why they move to different things. It's a bit weird. Uh, where are the builders? Let me have a quick look. Um, let's have a quick look. They're gathering food. Hmm. See, the thing is that the um, they're, they're, they're not stupid. Right? They will take care of their own needs. If they're hungry, they're not going to build. They're not going to work themselves to death or anything like that. They will do what they want to do. If they get depressed or unhappy, then they'll go and do that. Uh, now this, 
is requiring stone, and I'm guessing that we're out of stone. We are out of stone. So what I'm going to do, that's why they're not building anything. So I'm going to quickly do this, collect stone, and we're going to collect stone from the surrounding area like that. There we go. I'm going to pick up all the stone. And what I'll also do, I'll take this opportunity to make a forest lodge. Now what that will do, that will manage the forest. Um, so they will chop down old trees, replant new ones, etc. And although it's not ideal to put it where I'm going to put it, um, I can. I think it'll be okay. We'll put it there. Hang on, there. So what they'll do is they'll find a really big tree, they'll chop it down, they'll take the wood back, and all that sort of thing. They'll do all that, and then after a while they'll go, yeah, that's fine, that's cool, and then they'll, um, you know, they'll replant little saplings. They'll also clear rocks and things like that. But in my experience, they're not very good at it. <laughs> um, they do tend to be really slow, and manually doing it is uh, a lot better. So, the reserve of stone is low, I know. In fact, it was zero a minute ago. But most people are going ahead and uh, picking stuff up. Both of these, the blacksmith and the woodcutter, are actually... Um, they're actually... Yeah, they're, yeah, they're actually on their upper limit. So I'm going to turn their work off, which you can do like that. If I click on the work, click on anything like that, and just say, not work, don't work, whatever. Like, don't work like that, so they won't fish. Um, you can also go here and, like, harvest early. So this has got a fairly good yield. We're in late summer, so I'm going to I'm going to harvest the field. I'm going to harvest that field as well. Now these are not ready to be harvested yet. We can actually cut down the orchard, orchard to replant, but obviously there's nothing to replant yet. Obviously, when we get trading up, we can actually do some trading, get some more seeds, and get something else up. Now, what we want to think about doing is actually getting a couple more houses. And the reason for that is, obviously, families will grow and such, and they'll want to move out, have their own house, etc. So that's something that you want to do. Uh, and you want to sort of plan for that. Although, to be fair, we have had a couple of deaths, which is uh, unavoidable. Although, to be fair, later on, you will encounter hazards. I did, I did put uh, disasters on, so you might get, like, an outbreak of, you know, d dysentery or something. And that's, like, not good. That's not good. Or diphtheria. And things like that. It, no, when people die from um, from like uh, you know extreme bowel movements, it's not good. It's not good. Anyway, uh, the schoolhouse is getting there. Looks like we need to remove nothing. We just need to build it. Really, uh, we're now lawn food again. Lawn. Food. I don't know how because there's loads of food we're getting from this. Loads of food. It's just look at the potatoes. We've got loads of cabbage. Uh, that one we haven't harvested yet. We're just getting, no, not much. Uh, let me just have a look at this, the fishing hut. We, we, we got, no, last season we got nearly 100 fish. 100 units of fish, not just 800, but 100 fish. What are these guys doing? They have got nothing to do. They're a blacksmith and a woodcutter. So I'm guessing they're just mulling around. Actually, yeah, they're just picking stuff up, yeah. Um, now we could probably start getting this woodcutter to work. Um, actually, do we not have a woodcutter? No, surely we do. There we go. Sometimes it does that. Right, and we'll do the same with the blacksmith. We'll turn it back on, and uh, it'll assign a person, or the person that was originally assigned as blacksmith on the professions, and we'll go for it. Right, so we've got three farmers again. We don't really need three. Um, we could probably reduce the farmers. Like I said, this is my main bugbear with the game, but if that's the only bugbear, then it's sort of alright, isn't it? Um, so we wait a little bit. A child Dean was born, and a child... Uh, Cordeen was born. <laughs> But we are low on food, so, you know, this might not go so well. What's he doing? He's just working, apparently, by standing around. There you go, he's knocking on that. They will get unhappy and depressed. Uh, we actually, you can actually see, like, by their happiness and such. And they will, if that, they'll just mull around. They just won't bother doing anything. Um, that person wants to go somewhere warm, which is understandable. You can see, basically, below here, where it shows what they're doing and what they want to do. Um, right, so hopefully that'll be built at some point, although, where are the workers? I want to know where the builders are, let's have a quick look. I call them, I call them workers, but yeah, builders. There we go. There we go, that's finally built, our trading post is built. So we're going to assign one person as a, as a, is it, is it a trader? Yeah, it is a trader, so we'll assign one person as a trader. It also shows you the max, oh sorry, um, what you can have here as well. So obviously we can have one trader of a maximum of six. There we go. And trading, you can put things from your, from your storage barn, uh, or your stockpile I believe, uh, yeah, and take it to the trading post and then you will trade. Uh, that'll basically sit there, a bit like a stockpile in a trading post, and that will sit there 
and when people come along, it will actually, uh, you know, you'll be able to trade with them. You can also trade to see what people have. Obviously, at the moment, there's no one there, so we'll close that. Let me just pause it for a second while I get a teacher, because we now have a schoolhouse. There we go. Um, it's looking a bit, oh, it's looking okay at the moment, but what we don't have, uh, oh, what's wrong with that? That has got no trees. We've run out of trees. Okay, so we better, um, we better chop down some trees. We'll chop down these ones over here, like that. And we'll chop down the ones all the way along there. And then we'll chop probably all of these down as well. Now, this isn't very efficient, chopping down all the trees like that, because um, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's not like a renewable sort of thing, because you are just chopping the trees down, you're not replanting. That's why foresters are good in the uh, the long term. I'm just going to reassign people to, uh, to work on the crop fields. There we go. In fact, I'm going to assign a couple more, I think. A couple more farmers. There we go. We'll... Re Reduce one builder so we've got one labourer. So, we've got pretty much these sorted. Let me also uh, start building a couple of roads. So we can go to Dirt Road and we can actually run a Dirt Road right in front of all of this. Um, and then we can run it down these houses as well like that. And run it down either side. So there's a couple of things I haven't shown you. So things like uh, market. So we could put a market there, which will. Th the bonus for that is if you have a fairly large town, you don't want them all going to the to the storage barn to get food because when they go there, they'll just pick up the first thing that comes to hand. So they'll just go, oh, look, there's 20 onions. That'll do for Bob's dinner, and they'll get all of the onions. So what you need to do is have a market, which gives you more selection. They might look around. They'll just be, you know, healthier and better for it. So if you have a large town, you can see we've got a massive circle going here. If you have a market over there, the person working the market will go from there. Basically, if you assign someone as a vendor, they'll go from the stockpile and fill the market up. So it's quite good. I'll actually put one, I think, there. there. Um, I think putting it there would be a better idea. We'll put the market there. There we go. And we'll leave this for something else. Um, and reserve of logs is low, I know, but I'm chopping that down. It looks like our orchard... Is actually fully grown. No, it doesn't look like it, is. it actually is. No. And you can see it's taken how many years? Well, it's currently four years to have this orchard, so we've, we've got nothing from it, and we've had people working on it as well, so it's uh, a little bit um, annoying, but it is good in the sense that um, oh, these are now out of resources, so we're out of wood. So I'm going to stop it a second. Um, actually, no, I'll just leave it running. But yes, it's, um, you know, you are you know telling people to work on that, but it is a long-term investment. It is a long-term investment. We do have a forester's lodge there, but it's not yet complete. We also have deer, so I should probably, probably make something to hunt the deer. Let me do that. Let me get a hunter. Hang on. Uh, hunting cabin, there we go. I'm just going to place a hunting cabin there, to be honest. We'll put them all there. And once they've built that, then we should be okay. I'm also going to uh, probably increase the priority of that building as well. There we go. So, so they should build that before anything else. And then they'll start managing the forest. Although, as I said, it seems to be a bit... Uh, I don't know what the term would be. Um, it, it's just... It seems a bit slow doing it, you know, you don't get a lot of, you don't seem to get a lot of stuff off it for what you actually assign to it. But I'm guessing if you have two or three of these, then it sorts of, it starts to add up. I think it's rather, oh, well, let me just assign a, uh, it's not a woodcutter, I always go to woodcutter, but it's not, it's a forester, there we go. But yes, I, um, I think it's just the perception of, uh, when you first start, you're knocking, you know, loads of trees down to actually make room, whereas... In reality, you would once you've got your town up, you don't need to do that. You just need to sl like slowly manage it and build it up over time. But I think it's because you start off with loads of logs and that's what you do. The, there's a sort of problem, right? So we could, if we wanted to, mo start moving over here. Over here, we could make a bridge. So as you can see, we could go. Uh, that's a boarding house. We don't want that yet. Uh, we can say have a, a wooden bridge and we can build like a nice wooden bridge across there if we want to do, which we'll order. Uh, what's this? We are low on logs. Yes, we are low on logs. It is early autumn, and we're actually, looks like we're gathering our stuff. Oh, and this, this the orchard's starting to produce something. We're starting to produce chestnuts. Fantastic. So our food is 631. It's not actually enough. Uh, we need a lot more than that. But um, hopefully we'll get some off these. That there is the herbalist. They do have an upper limit of 100 here. We can change the upper limit, as I mentioned previously. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, take that person that's off herbalism and put them on gatherer. Because if we check the gatherer, we can see they've produced loads of stuff. Look at all the berries and such they've got. Fantastic. Uh, let me just go over to my fishermen. Here we go. And see what they've produced. Uh, not as much as last year. And the reason for that is because, remember, we did have four people on it and we've reduced that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to balance it out a little bit. Turn one of the gatherers off. Or change someone from gatherer. And I'll put them onto a fisherman. There we go. And that'll do us nicely. 
So, uh, we're going to be building a couple of things around here. That's a forest log. Let's see what they've made. Oh, they've made some iron and some logs. Uh, iron, stone and logs. What the forester will do, they will uh, demolish the stone as well as the iron around it and move it and then plant saplings in its place. So that's quite good. Shame you can't do the same with rocks, although you, can, you don't really grow rocks in the same sense, do you? Anyway, uh, I'm waiting for of things. Uh, where is this trading guy? The trading guy comes when he wants, basically. He'll turn up, whether, he'll turn up when he wants, with what he wants. Uh, let me just check. We have... Ooh, we've got a bit of firewood, but I don't think it's enough. And there we go. It's just turned to... Um, it's just turned to late autumn, and we've got a bit of frost on this. <sighs> Today's beverage is rum! <laughs> it's not. It's just water. With some rum in it. Right. Uh, let me see what we can do. Uh, we don't need to mess around with there. A couple of buildings that I haven't shown you, and I won't be showing you all of this because it is a very large game. Uh, things like hospitals, so if you've got a hospital, it will actually treat diseases. Your uh, gatherer, your gatherer, your herbalist and such, sorry, uh, your, yeah, your herbalist, not your gatherer, will um, will gather things for, you know, to keep people to keep people healthy. Um, and it sort of increases the chances of them, you know, not getting diseases. Whereas if you actually get a disease or an outbreak of something, you need to really, you really have a, need to have a hospital. Town Hall is a good thing. Uh, it allows you to um, pretty much manage the entire thing from it. You can see I've got all of these things around here, like professions and uh, this thing up here, all the UI. The Town Hall, once you've built it, uh, once you've built it rather, not built it, build it. Uh, once you've built a Town Hall, you can, uh, you can see everything on one screen, and also you will also get nomads turning up, and they'll turn up and join your and join your sort of town as well, which is quite good. I also haven't shown you pastures or hunting cabins. I don't have. I haven't shown you pastures where you actually take care of livestock. I don't think I've showed you tailors because obviously there's no point um, because I haven't got any sheep to shear or anything like that or cows to get leather. We have a tavern which brews alcohol. However, we don't have any hops. Actually, I've never, I've never built a tavern in this game. I'm guessing you need hops, or you need apples to make cider, and that sort of thing. But uh, there's a couple of other things as well. There's mine, which is you can put into a hillside, which is, I, I really like that. I really do like the fact that you have to put it in a hillside. In fact, we might put one there. Or we can put it around here. Put it pretty much wherever you need to. Uh, put it there. Uh, put it there. Put it there. There you go. So that's a mine. So that'll, uh, that'll mine, and you can mine coal, and you can mine... Um, Mine coal and you can mine iron from it. There's also a quarry, which is a fairly large thing, and you basically dig a dirty great big hole in the ground. And what that allows you to do is just quarry stone out of it, which is quite good. Um, obviously, it's it's more of a instead of trying to nick the stone up, they just pop just on the ground. Let me just go here and appease myself by doing that and actually putting some road over there. And now it looks like it's spring, which is fantastic. So we are doing okay. We have we have a six, uh, sorry, seventeen um, adults. We have six uh, six students, as you can see. We've got six students there, and we have eight children. So we are doing okay, very, very, very well. And uh, now that hasn't been built, so I'm going to probably. Oh, I can't. I was going to say I'll get another farmer, but I can't. I don't actually have any uh, any spare people. So we need to wait for the we need to wait for them to grow up a bit. And we can uh, do that. I'm just going to get pretty much all of these on collecting stone and iron because I might as well. There we go. We've got a lot of iron, but just uh, not a great amount of stone. In fact, no, we've got 171 stone. Uh, what's that, 35 iron? Yeah, 35 iron, not a great deal. Food is also uh, low. But we are now producing a lot of chestnuts, which is fantastic. How much did we get from the fishing dock? Let's have a look. Um, not bad. Maybe 600 uh, units of fish, which is okay. I don't know if you can deplete uh, from overfishing. I really don't know. Now, the game, although the tutorial is quite good, um, it doesn't necessarily fall down in the learning sense, but it is a very expansive game, so you do have to play it to really get to grips with it all, which is, it can be said, you know, you could probably argue that fact for every game. But um, the good thing about this one is it does have a fairly good... Uh, help menu. It's all in game, and then you just go right. Uh, so maybe we'll have a quick look. Towns and services. What do hospitals do? And then it explains exactly, quite easily, 
what hospitals do. All very concise and nice, and then you go back and check other things. There's probably a couple of things that it doesn't show you, but I've no, I've never really encountered anything in there that I've, I've, if every time I've looked there for something, I've always found what I needed. Right, what's that there? That's in its upper log limit. Sack that. We're gonna change our upper log limit to 500. That is our herbalist, and we'll probably assign one of the farmers to be a herbalist these days because we'll probably run out of herbs. Let's have a quick look. Uh, herbs, 105. Actually, not worried our upper limit, aren't we? Uh, herbalist is on 100, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, that person is out of something. I'm guessing out of iron. Yeah, he's out of iron. Uh, we need more iron. So that's getting made. Once that's done, the stone's all done, etc. I'm going to take probably the herbalist off there and sand it up builder. Like I say, it's this that is my... Uh, Main main gripe, but I guess it can't be avoided. But it's it is a bit micromanagey, which is a little bit annoying. But you know, you can, again, you can't avoid it, and it uh, you know it's it's fine, it's fine. Um, although there's a couple of things I would like, like I, I would like an emergency harvest button where all the town just goes and harvests all the food before the crops, things like that. You know, things where the whole town pitches in and such. Like instead of you know, if you're just wandering around, you know, there'll be people wandering around doing nothing. You know, I'm guessing. I, I believe in reality. You know, if, the, if you knew, if you knew that like frost was coming, you would. You know, the town would pitch in to get the harvest in. You know, that's the sort of thing. Because otherwise, everybody starves. Uh, you know, a button like that, or some sort of feature like that, where it's like you know, emergency town emergency. We need to do this. You can do it manually, obviously, but uh, it'd be nice to just have a, like emergency button. Why is that on a question mark? Because they've got nobody assigned to it. Let me assign someone to the hunting cabin then. So we'll uh, assign someone as a. Hang on. That is a herbalist. We've already assigned someone, so we don't have anyone assigned there. We need to assign a, and then we'll take a a build no gatherer, gatherer off, and we'll assign a. Let me find it. Herbalist first. A hunter. There we go. Hunter. There we go. And what they'll do? They'll go around, shoot the deer, get some venison. Mmm. Tasty, tasty. All them. There we go. Uh, that area of that circle there. Uh, sometimes I've seen them stray, stray out of that and you know do different things. Actually, there you go. Look, see them? Little little trees and such. That's being planted by that guy. Look, they're out, further out. But the tr the, these will grow. I mean, the, the landscape will change. These trees will grow and they might die off for whatever reason. But they'll also plant. Obviously, if they're like a, you know, they'll they'll plant like uh, seeds themselves. The seeds will drop off, acorns or whatever, drop off. You know, and then start growing some you know, other trees and such. So it's all quite nice in that sense. Why is that not a road? That's really annoying me. And what's that? Oh, the merchant has arrived. Fantastic. So we'll click and see what the merchant has. He has ale. Oh, he has loads of ale. We're not going to buy ale. I can, if I want to, go to orders and request him bring back something. Now, if I do that, it won't necessarily... Um, I don't know whether it's a definite, he will definitely bring that stuff back, but I believe it's like a request, but like I say, don't quote me on that one. Um, I could bring ale, coats, firewood, iron back, all that sort of thing. I'm just going to leave it and make it potluck, basically, to see what he brings back. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave it there. I, I don't really need to show you anymore. Like I say, the, like I said at the start of this video, in a, in a maybe perhaps angry way, that you probably already know everything I've said because you may have watched, you know, maybe tens or hundreds or thousands of hours and played them hours yourself because... It is a very, very popular game, especially at the moment, and uh, it doesn't seem, it doesn't show any signs of slowing. Let's like, say for good reason. It's a, it's a very good game. It's amazingly good fun. Um, I've spent, like you say, f uh, at the moment, probably, well, after this video, probably about five hours-ish on it, and I know that I'll be playing a lot more of it. A lot, uh, certainly a lot more of it. Um, to answer the inevitable question, will I do a series on it? The answer is probably, and to follow up from that, when, I don't know. Because the thing is, I've got a lot of series running at the moment, and something has to give somewhere. So, you know, I can't continue doing everything, you know, because everything, it, then it just becomes watered down and you get one video of one thing per week, and I don't like that. But I also don't like doing the flavour of the month video where I'll just stop doing everything and then do what, you know, one thing or this or that. I like to, you know, this is, after all, uh, always supposed to be a, um, you know, a variety channel for, uh, not a variety channel in the sense of, different types of content. It's all different video games content and such, so I do want to keep variety on it. So I will try and fit this in at some point. It's just a question of when. By all means, feel free to post in the comments and let me you know, share your thoughts and opinions on that. If you have something that you you know don't mind see being replaced by this, etc., then you know I'd like to hear from you. So, there you go, Banished. Very good. Links are in the description for you to check it out. I recommend you do if you like city building 
city building or management games, the chances are you already know all that anyway. Thank you very much for watching, take care and generic partings.